Morning, we are watching Hurricane Ian very closely. It strengthened to a Category 4 hurricane early this morning, and it continues to strengthen. It is. It's now very close to Category 5 mm -hmm. strength. Let's take a look, show you what's going on with Ian, and it is bearing down on the Florida coast because of the geography of the Florida Peninsula and this thing moving more or less toward the north. It is going to drag along and affect a lot of people. By the time you get up to around Charlotte Harbor, you could be seeing storm surge of 16 feet, and that's in a very flat area. Uh, as far as the rest of Florida, a lot of folks being affected by the rain and the wind, the possibility of tornadoes, but really you're looking at storm surge and catastrophic wind damage from this storm. You can see on the radar very clearly the well-defined eye this is going to be far enough away from us that we will not see any actual direct hurricane effects and even the indirect effects will be minor here. You're looking at a quick weakening once this does make its way on shore, but it stays a tropical storm right up till about Georgia and the Carolinas where it turns into a rainmaker. We stay dry on the dry side and our effects will be high risk of rip currents, rough surf, and some gusty winds. We have a wind advisory for today, and I'll outline that for you in just a few minutes. Now your first